have a good spectra, we get the space level identification. If you have a good spectra, but some peaks, peaks are not in the database, or the uh, not good spectra at the some moment, that time we get the genus level identification. But in case of whenever we get the rate level identifications, then that time we get either we have not reliable spectra because of the not good uh, spectra acquired yet, or the if you have no spectra at all, we get the no peak. Now let's see what kind of the spectra are related and what kind of the code, color code are related to the mite of MS result requirement. Okay, so first is the green color. When, whenever we see the report and we, you see the green color code with your, your identified species, that means you can be say your identification is done up to the 100%. Like in the DNA sequencing, you, what we do, the sequences when we blast in the database, we get the percentage similarity, like the 99%, 100% similarity, 99.5% similarities. The such a same manner is used here, but here is score value is matter. Like if the score value is more than two, we can say the specific table. Like if your organism is showing the score value two, 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 three, this is called species, species level. This is your confirmation. Okay. Now, if your score value is 1.702, it's an called genus level, genus level confirmation. Here is the color is green. Your score value automatically comes in a window where the green color is there and the score value is around between this range. That means your identification is the, you can be said, whatever the identification acquired from the multiple MS is in a specific identification. If the uh, if you have a score value between the 1.7 to 1.19, uh, 1 then your this color window, the score value window is the yellow one. That time we see the, we can be reliable on the specific level. Even though the market of MS also giving the some best, best matches with the their uh, library. Like, uh, with, even though we get the identification up to the genus level because of the score value is in this range, but still you get the specific. But the specific is not confirmed by the market of MS, but it's probably giving the maximum hit R matches with their database. So after uh, the genus level confirmation was the after a specific level specific now I have over the results made but up our species go to land near something uh my dog gave me uh rules hai ki job uh identification is range may have to to he up was go genus level the money yes in this case me I will have the identification more than two hai तो वहां पर आपको ग्रीन कलर आएगा यहां पर आपको येलो कलर आएगा उसके साथ स्पेसेस भी आएगी अगर आप सेटिस्फाइड है विद योर रिजल्ट लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल आपको देखने हैं आपके 100 एक्सपीरियंस में से कितने सिडोमोनास ओरिजिनस हैं ओके और आपको मोर देन 90 को 90 का आइडेंटिफिकेशन तो मिल जाता है कि वो ग्रीन कलर सिडोमोनास ओरिजिनस है रेस्ट ऑफ 10% में आप और आपको मिल जाएगा सिर्फ जीनस लेवल आइडेंटिफिकेशन एरोजिनस स्पेसेस भी होती है बट it's another yellow color identification, but your aim is sold now. You want pseudomonas originals from your samples. So you can be rely on that also. Depends on your nature of work, what requirement of uh, your identification, we can be rely on that. So you know, did not go to for the cisnes analysis. For the, I'm talking about if you get the out of 190 uh, pseudomonas originals by this uh, green color identification, because of the you, you are not having this uh, pseudomonas and originals or what, then you go, ideally you go for the sequencing. But if your aim is only to identify the pseudomonas 
their genus, then this genus level activation is enough for them. So it's an example for you in your research studies. The third one is that this is about the species level identification, this is genus level identification. Now listen up. It's a simple non-reliable identification is came whenever whatever the acquired spectra is not matches with their database level identification. Now we see the you, you get the another result where you get, get the color code is the red one. There there are the two probabilities or the two situations where we get the red color identification. First one is the not not reliable identification and second one is the no take found okay that means whenever jab aapko mari dot ke results milenge aapko in bhi results aa sakta hai ki jo red color mein generate hoga wo either hoga not reliable identification or no big form. So, you can see that no driver identification is not there. In this case, there are two probabilities. One is that the spectra is not matched. It is not matched in the sense that the spectra is not matched. That's the reason the multi-top MS is not able to identify up to the genus of the species level. But what happens whenever your spectra is good? So, that will happen. The spectra is good, still you do not get the reliable identification. Why this happen? Because my of it's an limitations. It's nothing but the their database library. Whenever the species we acquired it, uh, the spectra we acquired it, this spectra is not matched a database. That means this spectra having the good quality but not present in all the database, all the spectra present in the database, then that time he gave me the identification the not reliable. The another chances of the why is the not reliable identification. If your culture is the if your culture is the noble one, in 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 that case the spectra is not present in database. The same reason is the same, but the probability is the different. Okay, if the if the culture is Novel, obviously data, the database for this novel culture is not in, not present. That's why we get the not reliable identification. Second one is the, if, even though the culture is not novel, but simply because of the database limitations, this species is not in the database. For example, uh, Staphylococcus, uh, which is found in uh, human pathogens uh, in the from the human body, the human pathogens. This spectra is available in the database because the Marino instrumentation is basically made for the identification of the clinical pathogens. So database for the clinical organisms are there. But what about the, the same organism which is not normal organisms which is present in the environmental samples? Like the pseudomonas is present in the environmental samples also. So this species uh, whenever we form from the soil or, or only in environmental samples, then that time these species are the new, no, not novel, known species, but still we not get the identification because of the these species is not novel and these species are having no database in their microfinance library. Okay, now second one in the no big form. Why it's happened? This is the question mark. Why it's happened? Even though, let's take an example, you have a 10 cultures. And in 10 cultures, we get the identification either genus level, either species level, species level. But two samples, these are not able to identify because 
there is not there is no result of the no, no result. There is the only result which is found is the no peak. Why is so? All ten samples are able to lies, able to get the spectra. But why? What happened with this remaining two? Because remember the first lecture where when you make a smear on the plate, we add the matrix. When you add the matrix, matrix contains trichloroacetic acid. This acid acts as a lysis agent and breaks the cell wall. And the, the proteins come out, matrix get mined during this uh, instrumentation and we get the spectra of it. And this, okay. But when the some organisms like the uh, fungi, actinomyces, these organisms having the rigid cell wall. So because of the rigid cell wall uh, and some are the having the spore forming organisms. So in that case they are having rigid cell walls and these rigid cell walls is not easily ruptured by the trichloroacetic acid. That's the one of the reasons we get the Zillman spectra. This is the no peak form. That's the reason the proteins, the cell wall is not ruptured, that's why the proteins are not comes out from the uh, cell, so the matrix is not combined with that, so the no ionization takes place, no uh, desorption takes place, so we get the, actually we not get the peak at all. So this is the reason. So these are the, whenever you have the genus level, species level identification, either you have the good spectra, if you have not elaborate identification, then you have bad spectra or the even uh, case you have good spectra but whenever it's not with matches with the database and third one is the uh, reason is the no peak form because of the you are not lies or not acquired the good spectra from instrumentations. In that case then we require the pre in this case only we require the pre-processing of the sample. What is the pre-processing? Is nothing but this is the direct method. Now, whenever the results are comes like no peak form, we need to be extract the proteins. That means we need to be expose your uh, cells to the high acidic environment or to the uh, lysis environment where the your cells get lysis. So it's, uh, you need to be uh, do the some experiment, uh, some process before spotting the matrix. That means simply you need to be extract the proteins by use of the uh, protein extraction methods. I will discuss in my another videos. But for this videos or this understanding of the what are the results are comes from the multi MS and how you interpret these results. So this is enough for you. These three levels are identification: yellow, uh, green, yellow, and red. Green having these probabilities, yellow having these genus level probabilities and not reliable identification and the no peak found are related to the red color identification and what we do if you have the no peak found we need to be extraction so this all about the might of ms result interpretation okay thank you for watching this and i hope you understand this if you are not understand if you have any query if you have any query related to all other topics you can feel free to ask me i will happy to help you and uh, God bless you. Thank you very much.